Hey everyone, Prep Am Paul here. Today I wanted to go over how to import the ICOM repeater list into your IC705. I got my IC705, was trying to get into the repeater list and couldn't find it. I would hit the DR call button and I would keep getting a, an error pop up that would say no repeaters in the list. So my buddy Japan Ham over uh, in Southern Japan, Greg, gave me some information and has been uh, gracious in giving a lot of information on how to get on DSTOR and how to set up the 705. Um, but he mentioned about hit, holding the DR call button. And because I wasn't getting any repeater lists, I needed to download that file that should have been on the ICOM when I purchased it. And it might have been, perhaps I reset and lost it. But today's video is going to be about how to get that repeater list back onto my 705. So let's get this thing set up and going so that I can get on DSTAR. So first of all, down on the bottom left side here is the SD card. And you need to have a formatted SD card. You do that in your Windows. Um, you can use one of these little devices that you put the SD card in. Uh, this is the USB-C, it could be the other USB-A. And you plug in and you just right click on that drive and left click on format in Windows. And put it in. you put it in the radio and then we're gonna go to menu, set, SD card. We're going to format it in the radio. Yes. Okay, it's formatted. Let's go up to save settings, new file. I'm just going to leave the default file there. Enter. Save file, yes. Okay, it's complete. I'm going to go to menu. Set. It's the top. Station. If your call sign is not already in there, go ahead and put your call sign in. And now we're going to turn the radio off. We're going to take the SD card out and we're going to go to the computer next. Okay, you're going to take the SD card out of your 705 and I use this little device here. I'll put a link in the description. It does SD and micro SD. Slide that in there, plug that into your computer. And when you do that, you should see a pop-up of, it's on the, of the 705 right here. So mine is USB drive K and 705. Let's go ahead and open up the folder we're going to move the repeater file into, and that is IC705 and CSV, and right here, RPT list, repeater list. And, and then let's go to the website and get our, get our file for the repeaters. On the website, you're going to go to this uh, dstar.info website. I'll put the link in the description. You're going to scroll down. Now, I've already got it populated, but what you're going to do is put your latitude and longitude in here and what radio you have. That's all you're going to do. If you don't know your latitude and longitude, you can go to gps-coordinates.net forward slash my dash location. And if you have it, you can let it allow it to see where you're at, or you can choose by putting in your address and then your coordinates are here. You're going to, you're going to use these first sets of coordinates, uh, not the North and West coordinates. You're not going to use those. So let's take those, copy and paste them, uh, right here and right here. And when you look up location, it'll give you the location right here. There's my EM 13 NE that we're all very familiar with, right? Our grid square. And then down here, you're going to select your radio. Mine's a 705 a. And that's it. You're going to download And When you download, it's going to put the file up here in the corner. You can just click on the folder. Now, I did it once before. Um, okay. So here's the file right here. And what we want to do is I'm going to move this over a little bit to the right. And I'm going to pull up that repeater list window from the SD card that, we, that I had open. And I'm just going to take that file and I'm going to drag it over and let it go. All right, so now it's in there. Uh, so what you want to do is unmount your SD card. Uh, click down in the bottom right of Windows down by the clock. And you'll see uh, the safely remove hardware and eject media. And you just eject 
that USB drive. I gotta close the window first. Right again, there we go. The chime's telling me that I can take it out. All right, let's go back to the radio. Okay, SD cards in. You'll notice that little blue SD card icon there in the top. It's not flashing, we're good. That means it's not right, right reading or writing to it. We're gonna hit menu, we're gonna hit set. We're gonna go to SD card. We're gonna import, export, and we're importing the repeater list. We're gonna click repeater list, and there's that file that we put on the SD card. We're just gonna hit that file. Keep skip settings in repeater list, no. Import file, yes. It loads. I will restart. Now, instead of that dreaded no repeaters, when you hold down the DR call button, let's see what we get. There we go, we got the repeaters. That's how you recover the repeaters list back into your 705. So there it is. I hope that was quick and easy enough for everyone to follow on how to get rid of that no repeaters list error pop up on your IC705 and get those D-Star repeaters put back into your 705. Thanks for watching everybody, 73.